Hi everyone, Phil from statisticsmentor.com. What I'm going to do in this video is to show that for two non-trivial events, events where the probability of something, where the probability is, is bigger than zero, is that if the two events are mutually exclusive, this implies that A cannot be independent of B. Okay, so proof. Probability of A and B is zero when A and B are mutually exclusive. Let's call this 1. But if A and B are mu independent, then probability of A and B is equal to the product of the pro individual probabilities, which we know is bigger than 0, because we're looking at non-trivial events. If any of these events were trivial, i.e. equal to 0, then it wouldn't be a very interesting question to look at that, at that event. Now this means, that, look, that we have a contradiction. You can't have both this equation 1 and equation 2 being true. But what we're assuming here is that if A and B are mutually exclusive, so we're saying that 1 is true. Well, if this first line is true, it can't be that the second line is true as well, because it's showing that it's 0. In other words, therefore, probability that A is independent of B. Now, in attempting this proof, a few of you, some of you may have tried using Bayes' theorem. So probability of A given B is equal to probability of A and B over probability of B. If A and B are mutually exclusive, probability of the joint event happening is zero. Divide by probability of B, which is bigger than zero, so this whole thing comes out to be zero. If A and B are mutually exclusive. Let's call this uh, 3. But if A and B isn't A is independent of B, then what do we have in terms of probability A given B? Well, it doesn't matter what the outcome of B is, it doesn't affect the probability of A. So we have probability of A, and given this is non a non trivial event, this is bigger than 0. And again, just like before, we can compare these two statements. Uh, probability of A given B is zero if A and B are mutually exclusive. But if A and B are independent, then probability of A given B is bigger than zero. Well, it can't be both true. But since we're saying that, so saying that if they're mutually exclusive, we're looking at that statement first. Well, then three is true. Well, if three is true. Four can't be true. So we've reached the same conclusion. Okay, hope you get that.